Welcome back, Tars fans, to the Rollins Sports Report. I'm Hannah White. And I'm Casey Wright. And today we're recapping last week's action and a look at what's to come this week. On Wednesday, November 29th, fifth ranked women's basketball team stayed undefeated with a victory of 66 to 60 over 17th ranked Embry Riddle. Julia Engler led the way for the Tars, scoring 20 points and registering six rebounds. She was 4 of 6 from the three-point line and moved into second place on the Rollins all-time list for three-pointers with a 181 made. Engler's only 13 three-pointers away from being the top spot. Two more Tars were in the double digits. Denise Daniels scored 15 points as well as Jasmine Stone, who had 13. Carly McClendon continued her defensive efforts, grabbing 11 rebounds with three blocks and two steals. The women drove down to South Beach on Saturday, December 2nd to face Sunshine State Conference opponent Barry. Carly McClendon scored 12 points with four rebounds and four blocks to lead the way for the Tars. She took over sole possession of third place on the Tars all-time block list with 131 for her career. The junior is now just nine blocks away from Kristen Dellinger and Kim Tehring, who are placed first all-time. Bernicia Andrews scored 11 points with eight rebounds. However, the Tars picked up their first loss on the year to Barry, falling 78 to 60. Despite the loss, Carly McClendon sealed her seventh career defensive player of the week from the past two Sunshine State Conference games between Embry-Riddle and Barry. The Tars will try to bounce back after the first season loss this Saturday in a home contest versus Sunshine State Conference opponent St. Leo at 3 p.m. Men's basketball kept on rolling this past Wednesday after winning their fifth straight versus Embry-Riddle, 92-83. to Eric Castaneda scored 20 points going 5 of 9 from the field with four three-pointers and 6 of 6 from the night from the free throw line. Deion Clark had 10 with a career-high 16 rebounds, handing out five assists as well. Also contributing to the win was Jeff Merton who scored 17 points and Sam Philpott racking up 15. On Saturday, December 2nd, the Tars went on to play Sunshine State Conference opponent Barry. Jeff Merton was one point away from his career high with 27 points to lead the team. Merton scored 19 in the second half with five three-pointers and five steals. Connor McKim scored 19 points with five assists. However, the Tars fell 103 to 91, snapping their five-game win streak. The men bounced back after the loss this past Monday, December 4th, with a close, high-scoring win against NAIA school Southeastern with a final score of 94 to 91. Sam Philpott led the way for the Tars with 22 points and six rebounds. Jeff Merton added 20 points with six rebounds and five assists. Connor McKim registered 18 points, while Deion Clark also scored in double digits with 16. The six and three Tars will play Warner, another NAI school, at home tonight at 7 p.m. The swim teams are back home after attending the SCAD Invitational in Savannah, Georgia. The women's swimmers finished strong at the Invitational. Hansen tallied a fourth place finish in the 400 yard individual medley. Wilkes registered a podium spot finishing third in the 100 yard breaststroke. In the 4x50 freestyle relay, Wilkes, Maya Thompson, Hannah Brockman, and Macy Tratner stopped the clock at 138, just over one second off the school record time. Tratner, Wilkes, Hansen, and Thompson recorded a fifth place finish in the 4x100 with a time of 357, two seconds away from the Rollins record. Taylor Wilkes was able to snag 16 points for the TAR with a third place finish in the 200 breaststroke. After three days of the competition, the women swimmers finished the 13th annual SCAD Invitational in sixth place. On day one, the men swimmers started off strong recording a third place finish in the 4x50 yard relay. Norsini finished first in his record setting 400 individual medley swim, stopping the clock in 3 minutes and 59 seconds. The freshman shattered the previous record of 4 minutes and 8 seconds and was the only swimmer under 4 minutes on the day. Luigi Reno and Aaron Nestor finished 10th and 11th in the event, tallying points for the Tars. Slokowski, Chase Benton, and Paul Tobin all registered scores in the B final of the 100-yard butterfly. Slokowski racked up 9 points for Rollins and finished atop the B final of the 100-yard breaststroke in his record-setting performance. The freshman broke teammate Raul Rajani's record by .25 seconds with a time of 57.70. In the four times 100 yard medley relay, the Tars broke the school record with a fifth place finish. Wiley, Silkowski, Benton, and Tobin stopped the clock in three minutes and 28 seconds, .91 seconds faster than the previous mark. Norsini continues to have a stellar freshman campaign where he was able to win the A final in the men's 1650 yard freestyle and break the long standing school record 
which was previously held by Kamal Tejada with a time of 16 minutes and one second. In the A final race, Norsini was able to notch a first place finish with a time of 15 minutes and 43 seconds. Wiley punched his ticket to the men's 200 yard backstroke A final with a first place finish in the heat. The men's swimmers finished the 13th annual Scadden Invitational placing fifth, tallying 336.5 points. Alex Norsini gained Sunshine State Conference Swimmer of the Week after his record-breaking performances. The Rollins swimmers will prepare for a home meet on January 5th at 12 p.m. against Westminster. As for the men's tennis team, multiple TARs are featured in the first ITA rankings. Guillermo de Nicolas Ruiz headlines the group coming in number 19 in the first national rankings of the year. Sammy Kerberg is ranked number 17th on the South Region rankings. Nicholas Ruiz and Niccolo De Fria are ranked number 8th team in the South Region doubles rankings. Rollins has now concluded its fall season and now looks ahead to the 2018 season opener, a visit to the Division I Stedson at 10 a.m. on February 3rd. The men and women's soccer teams racked up hardware after the conclusion of their seasons. Women's sophomore goalkeeper Kelly Rosewell made first team all region for her amazing defensive efforts. As for the men's soccer team, the trio of Ben Grant, Fritz Engel, and Stefan Avram all made second team all region. Congrats to all our award winners. Don't forget to visit RollinSports.com for the latest sports updates and check out TAR Sports Network for the on-demand content and live broadcasts. Also stay to date on the latest news and information on social media at Rollins Sports on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also make sure to check out our YouTube page for even more video content. Thanks for checking out the Rollins Sports Report. I'm Hannah White. And I'm Casey Wright. See you next time.